right guys, we are back from shopping and here's what we picked up for the fan for the central lighting in our nursery. So we have this fan. Finally. Yes, it's true. Uh, it's about time, you know, our baby is about 12 weeks away. Yes. Here we are, we have the fan and we got a couple of other things as well. So if you're gonna mount a fan where there isn't one now, you're gonna wanna pick up one of these. It's like a fan install kit. It basically, you can see it has a piece of metal that'll straddle two joists in your ceiling and it has the plate that all the electrical wiring will be mounted to and the fan itself will be mounted to. This is about $8, so it should be around that price. So this is a two gang outlet box. This is where we're gonna have one switch for the light control and one for the fan control. And yes, hold them a little higher above that. Let, let's move this stuff out of the way. When you, when you pick this up, you have to know whether you want new work or old work. So old work means that the drywall is already up. And so that's why you have these tabs that can pop out and attach to the drywall you've already put up. So we got that. Now let's get to the cool stuff. So this is the Cassetta wireless starter kit. And this includes the bridge and a dimmer. So with this, we actually will be Wi-Fi ready. It's HomeKit enabled for, for those Apple users out there. With this, we can control the lighting in the nursery from our phone. I think my wife will like that, right? I love it. Yes, and- I don't have to get out. That is true, that is true. I'm not sure that's a good thing or not, but yes, that's true. <laughs> and there's the dimmer control that will mount here on the wall and a remote control as well. So it's actually a remote, a dimmer, and the, the iPhone app or Android app. So that is why we've got this for the lighting and we're gonna go with this Lutron fan control, but it has a dimmer control and a main switch. So you flip the switch on for the fan, you've got the dimmer control and that is what allows you to control your fan speed. And then my wife really liked this wall mm -hmm. plate it matches with the nursery furniture. It does. We'll have to get some good footage in there, but all yeah. our furniture kind of has this kind of style to it. I thought it was kind of cool, and uh, it should look really good when it's all said and done. And of course, that kind of comes on there, and it's going to look cool. So the very first thing you want to do is mark a point on the floor, the center of the room, or a fixture, or some location you want to mount the fan. Now, you'll also want to make sure that there's no stud in that location. I used my FLIR infrared imaging device to check for joists to make sure that I wasn't going to hit any wood. and then you're gonna to wanna to drill your hole. I used a hole saw, which was actually too small for my hole, but it got me started. And then I finished it up with a drywall saw. And I just cut the hole around and made it the right size for that insert for the fan. So now you want to go outside to your circuit breaker and turn off your circuit for that room.
Oh, 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 oh,